Um, the idea is you're like a neighborhood watch kind of person and people write in and ask for assistance with things things that might be paranormal in nature or dangerous in nature and things like that it sounds interesting like dead signal but not maybe i mean we'll find out your discord is the only one i don't mute well that's that's good thank you i try not to ping people too often on my discord because i know i know it gets annoying i know it gets annoying I try to only ping you, like, when a schedule's going out, or... Oh, oh, Hang on, my camera's in a bad place for this game, I feel. Uh, should we move the camera? Should we just come up here? And then, like, here. Is that okay? Can you see it all? Okay, uh, I, I don't even know what to do. Television commercial. Should we watch this? Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or death from common household hazards. Little Kai. Yeah, I'm very little here, aren't I? Hazards such as flooding. Black mold. Metamorphosis. Wait, what? Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. Wait, what do they mean metamorphosis? Actually, my camera is way too small, isn't it? I mean, it's it's going to be a bit bigger. Sorry. It is going to be a bit bigger. Okay, so we've watched the little intro movie. Wait, Discord? Shut up. It actually takes me to their Discord out of game. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, mailbox. Um... Oh, here we go. Welcome. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased you have uh we're pleased to have you aboard as a brand new Home Safety Hotline responder. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more qualify to receive a daily employee coupon. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Yeah. Uh, video files on desktop. Attention to call team. Due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. They will be cleared up in due time. Okay. Um, are they, are, is it, it's literally the game's credits. Okay. 1996 was Ventrilo. It was, yeah. What's in the options? Oh, so can we make it, can we actually make it suitable for our monitor? I think we can, chat. There we go. There we go. That's better. That's crisp as. Okay, let's go to the Home Safety Online portal. Monday. Oh, it's a bit like a FNAF feeling or like a dead signal feeling. I like that. You've got mail. Welcome, employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. Oh, God, it is going to be like dead signals. Right, let me pour myself some wine. Because I've got a feeling it's going to be one of those games that when we start, we're not going to be able to stop. Although I get the impression you're not going to be standing up and stuff in this. These old visual basic elements are chef's kiss. They're pretty good, aren't they? Hello, my staircase is trying to eat me. Could you imagine? Cheers. Yes. Cheers, mate. Happy Friday. We've got some wine. Hmm. Right. Here we go. No current callers. Well, that's good. Bed bugs. Oh, this is like your little, um... Oh, my God. Blair. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various Fuck possible you, <laughs> you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. 
When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. <laughs> I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Okay. So, when the client calls, answer the call, listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard, and then they send them safety instructions to deal with it. Okay. Well, we need to start reading then. So, bed bugs, uh, feed on humans. Oh, come on. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Sounds like cockroaches. Please hold. Please hold. Is cockroaches an option? Bees? Cockroaches. Oh, let's have a read. Uh, cockroaches are no immediate danger to humans. Oh, here we go. Uh, dropping is similar to coffee grounds. That's literally what he... Literally what he described. He literally described cockroaches. Okay, next call. Mice? Oh, maybe it, maybe it was mice. Should we have a look? Ooh. I suppose you need to pay attention to what they say. Yeah, no mention of looking like coffee grounds, which is what... Um, cockroaches explicitly said that the, the droppings look like coffee grounds, and that's exactly what he said. Hello? but I thought I'd call just in case. Uh -huh. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e e you know, it, it's probably nothing. Sounds I'm sure like mice. I'm just regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. So she's hearing mice in her attic. Mice squeaking. There was a mouse sound clip, was there? Oh my god, there is. It's got to be, right? Easy. I mean, it doesn't tell me if I got it right. I guess we find out, like, at the end of the night. E -e 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 -e. More calls, please. I think they call back if you're wrong. Oh. Interesting. Good to know. Hank here. Who the hell's Hank? Last week I called your guys oh. about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Okay. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. Huge you better piles not tell of brown. me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Moles? Oh, yeah, maybe. Please hold. How about molehills? Dinosaurs. It could be dinosaurs. Yeah, look, there is a mole. Hang on. Uh... Their burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds. Okay. What about... Don't termites make... Tower things as well? It doesn't mention that. I thought termites made mounds as well, but... Apparently not. Should we go for moles? Moles make sense, right? What game is this? This is... 
I've forgotten. Check the category on Twitch. I've forgotten the name of it. Home something responder something something. Home safety hotline. There you go. That's the one. It, it's it's interesting so far. It's interesting so far. Home shopping hell. Yep. 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 Hallway surprise helicopter. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. Been running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. What? Huh? Okay. My refrigerator has been running. Are we supposed to pet the mods? We can pet the mods. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. Stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? No. Please hold. Wait, seriously? We're putting him on hold? What are we putting him on hold for? There isn't there isn't a, a there isn't a grass cutting service. There isn't a grass cutting service. Goats, yeah, send some goats around to eat his grass. Now, what are we meant to do with this dude? I think we just submit nothing and just basically say, fuck off. Like, we deal with bees. Yeah, send, send the beekeepers around. What about gophers? Solution. No. What's the solution for moles? I think we just tell him to fuck off. Moles can be trapped and removed. Nah. I think I think we just we just I think we just submit nothing. Well, we have to submit something. What am I meant to submit? His child won't cut grass. Deploy the bees. No, no, no. The stuff on the left-hand side is the problem they have. It's not what we send to them. What, like, what do, do I just pick something at random for the lulz? Oh, is black mold making the child sick? Oh. Too sick to do anything. No, it doesn't specify anything. We're kind of reaching there. We're kind of reaching there. COVID. Can you imagine if COVID was an option? Should we... Do you know what? Let's just... Yeah, black mold it is. <laughs> Have that. Have that. Yeah, you've got black mold. Your shift has ended. You've reached the end of your scheduled work session for today. Please clock out below. Accuracy 75%. So that means there was a correct answer. It says he's getting a headache as well. Is there something that does that? Oh, maybe we should have paid more attention. By we, I mean me. It doesn't tell me what I got wrong. Oh, I really, I really want to know what I got wrong. It was probably the last one. Was this quit before it's too late? You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. Okay, cool. Cool. We quit. We quit. Yeah. Good game. Good game, everyone. 
What is the TV commercial? We've already watched it. There was a right answer. Go on, William. Let's know. Let, let, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Ticks. Ah, oh, okay. The tall grass. Wow, that's... that's Oh, okay. That's a, quite a reach, that is. Tall grass and the kid is sick. Yeah, I suppose it makes sense, but it's it's quite like out there, isn't it? Just to go, he's not cutting the glass. Yeah, you got ticks. Hello, it's Carol again. Your Hello. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Oh, thank you, Carol. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside Carol. of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, permission men update. New entries are now available. Like what? Pipe growth? Pipe hob? Uh-huh. Actually, uh, sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to. <laughs> sorry, uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong thanks with my ventilation follow, or sausage. something. Because Evil I Angel, thanks for the follow. Stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Huh. Please hold. What the hell is this? Hive growths are a type of fungus known for making their homes inside damp tube lives. Ugh. Right, so something's making him sneeze. Is there something as simple... Before I look at anything else... Is there something as simple as broken fan? Carbon monoxide? Surely not. Mm, doesn't say sneezing. Sneezing is going to be the key one. Sneezing is going to be the key one. What's a common hob? What the hell is this? Oh, what? Common hobs are the most common species of hob found in household. They're small humanoid creatures with grey burlap skin and small vertical tufts of hair on their head. They have no false face. They are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Vimus, thank you for the 12 months. 12 months, yay. Yay, yay indeed. Ever. Glad I could catch tonight at some point. Me too. Uh, I'm just making sure there's not something really obvious, and then we'll go look at the black mold, you said? Stair slug. What the hell? Okay, this game's gone a bit crazy, like, instantly. Bed teeth. Oh, God. When will Ghost Kai realize that if he raises the sub alert a bit more, he will be wearing the crown? Oh. Yeah, we had to move it the other night. Let's move it down. Thanks, Moz. Your feedback, as always, is invaluable. Hmm. So let's have a look at Black Mold, then. Also known to cause allergic reactions. That seems right, doesn't it? Black Mold does actually seem right. Causes allergic reactions. He keeps talking about allergies. Will we be playing more Baldur's Gate, Kai? Yeah, I probably will at some point. For sure. Not tonight, though. We're doing our, like, indie horror night tonight. But yeah, I will be. What I've done off stream is I've played some more and I've done a little bit of, like, side activities that, like, if you saw on stream, it's kind of boring. Like, you want to see, like, a bit of progression on stream. Really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you for saying that. I was a bit unsure if people did, so thank you very much for saying that. 
Hey, yeah, you back brain sent me some info when I was asking for some lawn care. Now my whole family's sick to our stomachs and itchy as all get out. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Let's be real. Someone suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning, they're probably... Switch games? We completed the last game. Right. Next call. Next call. Yeah, so no one's, no one's calling in about carbon monoxide. They're just dying. Hey, butcher. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like... Yes! We were just reading about it! At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. Common hob. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. Yeah, we see what so this is. I am. Is there something you can do? There's so much I can do, Hunnigan. Please hold Perfect. They consume dust, dirt, and everything. Let's have a listen to the audio. Oh, enjoy the pub. That was awful. Common hob it is. It's gotta be. I quite like this game. Can I adopt one? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'd adopt one. A little demon wants to live in my house and it just eats all of our dirt and dust. Yeah, great. How does it consume it though? Does it like lick all of your surfaces and lick all the dust off? I'm not sure how that works. What the fuck? Did you hear that sound? That didn't give me an option to help him. We're clearly experiencing a fever dream. <laughs> I feel like that's your explanation for a few of the games we play on a Friday night, William. <laughs> it's just all the uh, the player characters going mad. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, yeah. There's a theme here. Imagine like little fingers snatching all the dust off everything. I think they use their tongue, Jakey, for sure. Oh, Jesus. So, initial... Please hold. Initial is bed teeth. Bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners infested with bed teeth often report mild discomfort when sleeping, such as tickling or itching, and more, more rarely slimy acidic re residue on the skin. She's not reported any of that. She can hear something, and there's bite marks on her bedpost. I don't think it's that. I think they're misleading us. Seems like mice. Ah, I don't think it's mice. Hmm. I think it's going to be something supernatural. Carpenter ants? I mean, it could be. That's not a bad charge. Don't carpenter ants destroy wood? Carpenter ants are small insects known for nesting inside a wood. Homeowners infested with these pests often report a faint rustling sound coming from their walls as the ants build their nests. I hear something crawling in the walls. Mm, could be, maybe. Safe bet? Maybe. 
What about termites? Because termites will also be eating beds. Um, homeowners with a termite infestation report peeling paint, small holes in trouble, or squeaky floor. Right, so it's not termites. What about stair slugs? Dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. No, not that. I, I think it might be carpenter ants. That seems like the most likely thing at the moment. Just house fires. What? Just just straight up, it's a fire. Why are they ringing us? Why don't they ring... But teeth marks? Yeah, but the, you know, they're, they're using their jaws, right? Because the thing is, she says she's hearing crawling in the walls. So, although... Although the bed teeth sounds good because of the bite marks on the bedposts, she's not reported slimy acidic residue on her skin she's not mentioned discomfort while sleeping tickling or itching she's mentioned hearing stuff in the walls though desk carbs inhabit desks nah hmm what's a false beat Creatures with a beat like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them, digesting them. Oh, lovely. Well, that's not that then. It's a fracture hob. They cause cracks in walls, not that. That's, I mean, the frozen pipe is a frozen pipe. I think it's carpenter ants. She hears crawling in the walls, and then something's biting her bed, and it's probably the carpenter ants, right? It's the only one we've seen that says the sound coming from the walls. It's literally the only one we've seen so far. So I'm going to go for it. What's this game? Um, it's, it's interesting. It's uh, people call in with their problems. You diagnose the problems and send the appropriate assistance to them. But it's getting a bit supernatural and scary. That's that's the crux of it, Lauren. In in like a ten second abbreviation. Okay, who's our next caller? Okay, who's next? Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. It sounds okay. like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. No damage, no droppings. Please hold. What about bats? Sound of scratching. Oh, but uh, there's no poo. He's not seen any poo. So it sounds like scratching. It's really quiet something in the walls the traps worked for a bit and then they stopped working well, why would that be sounds of scratching no spiders are webs let me see what it says yeah, buzzing sounds not that Sounds of squeaking. It's not that. Uh, no, it's not ticks, I don't think. Oh, this is tough. This is actually a really tough game. I bet this one's carpenter ants and the last one was mice. Mm, maybe. Pipe hob. Uh... Commonly emerged from the home at night. Uh... It doesn't say anything about scratching in the walls. It doesn't say about scratching in the walls. What about pipe growth? Any sounds there? No, loud bubbling digestion noises. Uh, 
Yeah, game is actually tough. Remember, he's not seen any droppings or anything. I'm kind of tempted to say Carpenter runs, which means the other one was wrong. Oh no, faint rustling coming from their walls. Not scratching. Ooh. Ease? No. Fracture hops or something about walls? It did. You're right, actually. Uh, cause cracks and fractures in walls of the homes they inhabit. It doesn't say anything about scratching, but then I suppose we maybe we need to think outside the box here. Maybe it is a fracture hob. Maybe it is a, a fracture hob. What do you reckon? What are people feeling? Because we looked at a few of them now, and I'm utterly, utterly unsure. Said no damage? Yeah, he says no damage or droppings. No damage or droppings. He did have traps and he thought one worked for a while. And then he started hearing it again this week. Gunarius, how you doing? I'd say Carpenter Ants, last one, mice. I mean, it makes sense. What you're saying... I mean, yeah, it, it does make sense. Can you just go through one more time? Which one do you want to look at, One Fat Cat? Cellar growths, I assume, are in the cellar. Cockroaches have droppings. It's not the common hob or the desk hob. I, I don't think it's that at all. Full speed is a plant in the garden, so it's not that. Fracture hob makes cracks in the wall, but it doesn't say anything about scratching. Frozen pipe is a well, it's a frozen pipe. Again, he said no dropping, so it's not mice. Termites don't fit. No, because termites specifically says peeling paint. Holes, creaky floorboards. It doesn't say anything about scratching inside the walls. Do we have the ants audio of rustling? Oh, that's a good shout, actually. Maybe his description is crap. I mean, that just sounded horrific, to, to be completely honest with you. I'm stumped. I'm not I'm not sure what it is. Because ants does fit. I will admit, ants does seem to fit. But I feel like we've used ants a couple of times now. You know what I mean? Could it not be termites? I mean isn't that what termites do? They get into your walls and stuff and then they start chewing away? I've never had termites, I don't know. Ants, the weather balloon of HSA. Yeah, do you know what? Let's go for the, the carpenter ants. It might be wrong, it might be right. Let's just go for it. it I think um, I think it's, a, it's the best possible bet, isn't it? A dog? Oh my god, I've never seen a dog before. Biz! Just raided with 196 viewers. Biz! How you doing? Sector, hello, thank you for the sub, dude. Welcome in. You really are a super spy. Yo. <laughs> How's it going? Hang on, I don't think I can pause. Two seconds, let this bloke talk. How's your stream, Biz? What have you been up to? Security. I need home really security installed. Fishton, thanks for the sub as well. How you doing, man? He's not happy. We did some reaction music. Ooh, nice. I'm good, I'm good. I need home security equipment. Pronto. Bish, you need to play Suck Up. It's it's a game where you're a vampire and you need to 
It's a game where you're a vampire and you need to convince NPCs to let you in their home. And it uses AI and you have to actually talk to them. It's amazing. You want to put the Romanian play as the vampire? Yeah, you can you can give the authentic experience, you know? Jethrock, hello, welcome in. Um, so yeah, I, I'm glad you had a good stream. I'm glad you had a good stream. Guys, if you're not following Bisku, do go and give Bis a follow. Wonderful streamer and a good friend as well. Um, guys, if you're just joining us, um, your boy Ghost Guy is currently drinking a lot of wine. Uh, we're doing shots as well. Every, you know, now and then. We might celebrate getting subs or Kofi or something by having a shot. Um, but we're also drinking all of this as well which is going very well what game will you be the vampire minute right so that the vampire game is called suck up suck up if you google it it's very easy to find it's so good i'll give you an example of some things that happen um thanks for the follow sausage. joe thanks for the follow uh so for example i was dr I, I was dressed as a doctor and I knocked on someone's door and they're like, then I, they're like, oh, um, what, 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 what can I, what can I do you for? What, what can I help you with? And so I'm like, oh, oh my God, I'm a doctor. There's been a car crash down the road. Oh, by the way, I'm saying this into my microphone. I'm not typing this. Oh my God. There was a car crash down the road. I, I, I've just been performing CPR on one of the people. It's not going well. I really need to call some of my colleagues to get down here and help me out. And the person's like, oh, okay, absolutely. You can come and use my phone. And then we killed them. We sucked all of their blood out. It was good. It's a good game. I highly recommend it. I ha thank, thank God we're done with colons. Uh, yes, last week we were playing a game where we were performing colonoscopies with people. I, it was a horror game set up people's bums. Yep. Yep. It was a horror game set up people's bums. Uh, and it was fun. It was quite fun. Right, here we go. Do you guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone is breaking into my house and going through all my stuff at night. I know it's Bob from accounting. He's always been envious of me. I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organizational skills. I need your best home security equipment pronto. Okay, this sounds like a... a what was the desk one? A desk hob. Desk hob. It's got to be a desk hob. Right, what does this sound like? Oh, that sounds not good. Desk hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures. They regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. They are physically similar to other hobs and generally much smaller and have a raspy, loose hair. They do not bear a false face. Okay, it's, it's a desk hob. I hated that. I've got a feeling the, the more we go through this week, the creepier it's going to get. The creeper is going to get. Oh my goodness. That wine is going down a treat, chap. We've done a few shots of rum as well. 80% accuracy. So we're, we're getting better. We're getting better. We were 75% accuracy before. I'm still concerned at bed teeth. Yeah, bed teeth sounds terrifying. Bed teeth sounds absolutely horrendous. Oh, we got a mail. Here we go. It's too late for you now from Mike. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's a safe here. What hole? There's, is it? What hole? What's he talking about? Do bed teeth make noise? We can find out. Right behind your desk. Wait, is this my, is this meant to be my desk? Surely not. No, surely not. Right. Subject line notice network errors. Uh, attention call team. Our network team is migrating our backend servers over to a new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Lovely. Please be sure you are studying your uh, information entries carefully while you still have access in case the network goes down while you were on the phone with the client. You'll be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network status. 
Wait. So the network just goes down and I lose access to all the information. So we just need to go off memory. It might be worth us reading. We might need to do some reading chat. Otherwise, we're going to we're going to struggle. No Googling. I don't think we can Google. We expect you to do your job to the same standard with no tools whatsoever. Yeah, welcome to 2024. You've just described most employers. <laughs> we would like you to do more work to the same standard <laughs> with less tools for the same money. Good luck. Okay, we got any new ones? Any news? Wait, no new ones? Oh, hang on, we're going to get a call, aren't we? Giving us new stuff. Hello? Hello? Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future calls. Carol doesn't Please sound sure real. Please read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That, thanks, honey. Right, what have we... Oh, no. Ooh, a bog up. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that. There's something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything. Oh, stairs look. I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing. We've out read about it earlier. Says possible. Slug. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Oh, Jesus Please Christ. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Ghost Guy will be with you shortly. He's going to select the right entry. It looks like a poo. Just, someone's just shit down the stairs. <laughs> Lovely, right. Um, Dog-sized slugs commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Uh, slimy residue. Right, it's got to be the 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 size of the dog thing is pretty indicative, isn't it? Stair slug. <laughs> Taco Bell aftermath. Oh, that's what it is. It's the Taco Bell monster. <laughs> <laughs> it's still crawling in the walls those instructions you said didn't work at all i'm going stir crazy here i still haven't been able to sleep i hope you all rot we got that one wrong yesterday uh -oh. not going well guys she she was big mad she wasn't little mad she was big mad I guess it was mice then. It was mice. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this, uh, nasty smell. Okay. Please hold. Hob? No, I mean, hobs don't smell. They're clean, aren't they? They're clean. I don't think it's a pipe hob. They clean up dirt. Why would it smell? It might just be like a frozen pipe or something. There was a frozen pipe. It might be something not paranormal. Thanks for the follow, sausage. Big T, thanks for the follow, dude. Frozen pipes are a common household hazard during cold seasons characterized by the water inside freezing and expanding, causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks. Homeowners with frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells, banging, whistling sounds coming from the pipes or leakage. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Remember, we have mundane things here too, and terrifying things. Let's just get his, get his pipes thawed. Easy.
Right, what's what else have we got here actually? Lamp sprite? Oh Jesus, that's awful. Okay. Hi. My wife. I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. I can't see her face. She's dead and I can't see her face. They're all gone. It's all gone. Jesus Christ. Please hold. I don't think that's a lamp sprite. What's a memory wisp? Due to a clerical error, the audio sample provided is incorrect. This issue will be corrected by the end of the month. Well, what is it then? Memory wisps are invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowner. Homeowners in infested with memory wisps can often report missing pictures, photo frames, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Jesus Christ, what a sinister being. It's, it's taken his memories of his wife. It's got to be that. How horrendous. Imagine your partner dying and then this evil spirit just steals your memories of them or at least part of them like the face and it takes all the pictures hey yeah my name's fred pinball i'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business i have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team just tons of twigs sticks and Pebbles, sod, and I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, what's you gonna do? What's you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> okay. Just a prank call, guys. Don't worry about it. Those damn prank callers. I know. Bees? Bees? <laughs> oh. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi. I, uh, have no idea what's happening. Me too. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them and my legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? It's bed teeth. I usually shower We're on like it. once a week for my skin health, so Wait, maybe that's we, it. We, let's not assume. Let's actually read it. Although he did say my sheets are growing. He basically said my sheets are growing teeth. Please hold Bed teeth. Bed teeth are a rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underneath of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. Homeowners infested with bed teeth often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as tickling or itching, and more rarely slimy acidic residue on the skin. I mean, it's got to be bed teeth. He said his sheets are growing teeth. I mean, it has to be. It's very on the nose, that one. If, if we get that one wrong, I'll be sad. Wonder if this is a real thing. I'm going to Google. Maybe you shouldn't Google that, Lauren. Maybe sometimes it's better not knowing. Sometimes it's better not to know. Are bed teeth real? Hello? Hello. I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. Oh, yeah. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. Okay. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling. I'm not peeling? sure. Peeling? Termites? I have a cat named Whiskers, and Tish sometimes movie. he likes to sharpen his claws on the couch. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. 
Okay, the wall's degrading and it's peeling. I want to say that's termites. I know we could say it's a, a fracture hob, but I feel like with the peeling, I think that's the key word. I think as we're slowly getting used to this, I feel like every... Every answer has had like a key word to pick up on, and I think the peeling is the one. There's termites. No one wants to believe their cat is the one causing the destruction. Yeah, imagine if it's just her cat and it's like actually perfectly innocent and we're just going to go around and shoot a cat. <laughs> just send round the cat exterminators. My cat, my cat would 100% be the culprit. Oh, really? Do you think this is some kind of joke? No. Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. Okay. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? What? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. Cream. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out... Oh, power outages. House ...and you figure it out... No! Uh, what was the one we were looking at earlier? It said about power outages. Was it the Bogart? The one with the really terrifying sound. It said it caused power outages. We'll read it again. Quincy, hello, welcome in. Please hold. There it is, Bogart. Jesus, the state of that. Bogarts is the general term for a metamorphosized hob. They are large, hairy humanoids between six and seven feet tall. And bear a fairly convincing and bear fairly convincing false faces. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, and electrical outages. They also frequently observe their targets while they sleep. Bogots are, are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which can often cause injury or death. They also react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Jesus. Solution. Do not under any circumstances refer to an active bogger by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply, simply vacate the premises. Providing you do not speak of the bogger at any time in any fashion, it will remain in its original location. So the only way to deal with it is to move. You just leave your home. And as long as you never mention it to anyone ever, it will stay in that house. But if you mention it ever, it comes and hunts you down. That's terrifying. I mean, it's got to be that because of the electrical outages. Well... We need to get this one right, because otherwise he's going to die. I get the impression some of these that are, like, more deadly, if you don't get them right, the, the people are going to... 100%, let's go. The people are going to die, aren't they? They're going to die if you get it wrong. All right. It's going to get a bit spicier, isn't it, this? Brunum. Introducing our new office pet. Oh, a cat. Hello, HSH family. We're excited to introduce to all a new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and is as serious about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. There's a wit team Templar here. Whiskers can get in the bin. Please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as it... By the way... Pet tax time. I put a picture of Templar in the Discord earlier. You all owe me pictures of your pets now. Those are the rules. Okay, daily coupon silver medallion. Ooh, what does that mean? Wait, what? Employee discount. Right, congratulations. Your high accuracy await has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for a silver medallion. Your medallion is 100% pure silver and comes free with an iron chain for convenience. For both for safety both in and out of the home 
Never let the medallion leave your site. Uh, Supply is limited to one, so get it while you can. To receive your discount, please type the following code on your online checkout. Pedal to the metal. Please keep up the great work. Wait, can we buy stuff? Wait, there's... Hang on, there's movie files here. Uh, I didn't see this here before. Don't mind if I do. Cat or tortoise? Both. My cat uploaded? Yeah, let's go. This give me weather channel vibes. Mm-hmm. What? A civil authorities issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Berry County. What? This is a missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your local authorities. Okay. Science Mysteries with your host, Ghost Kai. The Mystery of Mice. Mice, one of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans Dr. for Guy. centuries. True. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. Of course. And this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse, a newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Okay. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, and yet, science has observed they are capable of thinking. Quite Chat, I'm getting a little tipsy now. This is nice. And in the case Good of evening. the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable oh, lovely steel. of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Wow. Let's take a listen. Uh-huh. a wonder of evolution or are we just hearing things that aren't there what do mice and men have more in common than previously thought of mice and men well i suppose that's what makes this a science mystery all right uh, imagine a mouse come up to you and be like sup i mean that would be quite funny all right day four let's go thursday well, no one died yesterday. We got 100%, so that's good. Uh, that last guy with the bog art, he definitely would have died. Because after I read the description of just how dangerous it is, he was 100% dead if we got that wrong. Okay. She's going to give me access to more things. 
Well, like watching old documentaries in science class back in school. I mean, yeah, it was a bit like that for me too, to be fair. Um, we're going to be called or hello? Hello, darling. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. Hello. I've been watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Thank you. The mission's been updated. Let's go. Attic gnome. That sounds awful. Subspecies gnome in attics and ceilings. Home is invested with attic gnomes who often report knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings. Ugh, Jesus. Okay. I think the map is something wrong with her faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems until now. The water's misdirection. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things. We it's only eat water, fresh, so homegrown fruits and veg. Send someone out to get this. We read something us. about that. Fake veg, innit? Please hold. Where was it? Do you remember? We read about it earlier. Yeah, the false beat. We were reading this earlier. False beats are creatures with a beat like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. False beats are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they take root in the human's stomach feeding off its nutrients for its lifetime this can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the human's life i think it's the fake beat i think all the stuff about water is misdirection as soon as i heard homegrown stuff i'm like yep 100 percent. it's got to be this it's got to be cool right what else we got here oh god we got a laundry gnome Jesus. Uh, loud rattling from their washing machine. Missing socks. Okay. It's a night gnome. Uh, see him in the middle of the night. Or oh, heavy breathing sounds during late hours. Ooh. Hello. Good evening. The police told me to call this number, so I uh, hope I got the right number here. Okay. Anyway, uh, I think... I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I mean... I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. Please hold. Outside the window, staring in at the sleeping. Bye, Felicia. Okay, it's got to be a night gnome, right? I mean, it might be something else because we've not read a whole bunch, but the, literally the picture she just described is that picture. Okay, next caller. What's a night wisp? They're known to hover outside windows at night, whispering promises of wealth and fortune. Jesus Christ. These sound terrifying. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Okay. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. We read My one about that. My hasn't been able to stop coughing. Please hold. Banging from ceiling. There was one that was in the attic, wasn't there?
Was it this one? Uh, subspecies are known to nest in attics and ceilings. Homeowners infested with attic gnomes often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation systems. No, thank you. Right, I, I'm pretty sure it's that. Because all the, the, the dust is making his daughter cough and he's t he can hear banging. So... Yeah. Lionel, hello! What's this? It's a pretty good game. It's called Household Safety Hotline. And people basically call in with their problems. Some of them are quite mundane, like they've got mice. Other them are others are like way sinister. Way sinister. It's pretty creepy. Also, we've been warned several times by an ex-employee that by getting ourselves involved in this, um, we're in danger. And it's slowly getting way, way creepier. Asuna, hello. Me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Okay. So please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps. Bees to calm him down. He's always so concerned about bees and wasps and such. Well, let's be honest, guys. Please hold. Her child has not been kidnapped by bees. It's not been kidnapped by bees. That's ridiculous. So let's have a look at some of our new ones. Cellar Grotto. Cellar Grottos are large cave-like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars uh, and basements. Homeowners... I don't think it's this. No, I don't think it's this. Fay Feast. What's this one? Uh, large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various pieces of fungi. They're also known to appear near eating... No, definitely not that. Fay Flu. I get the feeling that's not going to be to do with a, a child being kidnapped. What's false Thanks artifact? For the follow, Thanks for the follow. False artifacts are seemingly human designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making a gentle buzzing sound that can usually be heard by a young a young human child. Wait, a buzzing sound that can be heard by a young human child. Bees. So it's like a, an infant child who heard bees. Homeowners with false artifacts can often report out of place objects or missing children. So he's not hearing bees, he's hearing the false artifact. Oh, this game's good. I like this game a lot. It's got to be it. The false artifact is in the closet or the closet is the false artifact. Oh God, it's not a real closet. It's like this. It's this creature. It's not a real closet. Read the solution. Once the false artifact has been identified, remover is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. Uh, they can be called to remove the object. Should a pet or loved one be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. <gasps> so her son is dead. Like her son is gone. Once it's taken a child, the child's gone. Oh my God, that's dark. Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Interesting. Several large cracks in the walls. Now, we've, we've read about fracture things before, haven't we? Fracture hobs. 
please hold. Sorry, can we just read this quickly here? Danger. False artifacts, while not a direct threat to, to adult humans, can pose a significant risk to small human children and animals. Should a child or pet be left alone with a false artifact, they're at risk of being encased within. Once encased, no noise may be made by the prey. While digestion can take upwards of several years to complete, starvation can be a more pressing concern. So that little boy is dead, I'm afraid. That little boy is dead. That's horrendous. Years. He's going to be slowly digested for years. Okay, so Fracture, we read about this earlier. So he has said, so he bought his home. I'm not too fussed about the half-eaten cheese at the moment, but large cracks in the walls of the basement. So let's read here, because we've read about this one earlier. Cause cracks and fractures in the walls of homes they inhabit. Uh, they are physically similar to Hobbs in stature and size, with the exception of generally... I think it's this. Dead but not physically gone yet. He might still be alive, Jakey. He might still be alive. Cheese at the bottom. Oh, hang on. Solution. Um, oh, hang on. Let's go danger. Not dangerous on their own, but fractures and cracks. Yeah, that makes sense. Fracture hops cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further danger, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. Okay. You've convinced me, chap. It ticks every box. It ticks every box. Let's go. This game's really cool. It's good, isn't it? It's getting very dark, though. A woman crying and pleading for her son's life. And then we basically read that he's definitely dead. Oh, jeez. Men in Black Alien vibes? Oh, yeah. Sugar! Water! <laughs> oh, man. That was great. Wait, that wasn't a phone call sound. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. Uh-huh. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help. So okay. here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. I'm really freaked out right now. We saw a flu one earlier. I'll check that I one out. Have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Yes, I can. Please hold. Right. Carbon, you reckon carbon monoxide? No, why would his doctor be like, I can't help you if it's mm. carbon monoxide? <gasps> the network's gone down. <sighs> the network's gone down. We read about fate. Well, we didn't read, but we had like a, a skim read of it earlier. I'm just going to go for flu because... I remember the picture looking like how he just described how his symptoms are. Because there's no point in me clicking on other things because we can't read any details. If this is wrong, it's wrong. Like, it is what it is. Oh, God, is the network just down? Please restore the network. How do I... How do I get the network back? I want the network back. Oh god, should we have, like, read everything ahead of time? Is it just down for the rest of the night? Unifo unicorn fungi, what the hell is that? Tra travel gnome. Here we go. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! 
here. Okay. There's holes all over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. Wait, so a missing Bad. dog and huge holes throughout his house. Ooh, I... Oh, good, 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 good. We've got connection back. We've got connection back. Travel gnomes are highly invasive species known to stow away inside luggage. I don't think it's that. Uh, toilet hob? I don't think it'll be this. Uh, they tend to clean their homes, keeping the toilets spotless. Unicorn fungi, what's this? I mean, there's a dog. Unicorn fungi are rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow on the heads of furry mammals and household pets. They often affect a, an animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners are often report that their pets furiously digging inside their homes. Unicorn fungi are not directly harmful to humans, but they can often lead to household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. Unicorn fungi will go away after a few months on its own without treatment, but can also be treated with cryotherapy or removed surgically. If removal needs expediting to prevent unicorn fungi from developing, regularly bathe your pet, especially after outdoor activities. Okay, we've got like several ticks but their dog is missing yeah but it causes the dog to go to the soil so basically the animal is like compulsively gonna try and bury itself the dog would have gone into the hole yeah the dog has like torn a hole through the kitchen to get to the ground It, like, wants to bury itself so that the fungus can reproduce. That, that's, well, that's my taking from that, anyway. It's a wine sprite. That sounds awesome. Known for consuming wine. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, they have long proboscis. Like, what, like, uh, hum not hummingbirds, butterflies. They're like butterflies of wine. Ghost guys a wine sprite? True. Alright, I'm gonna need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a back from vacation, eh? 24 hours later and my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? Let's have a look at that travel hob again, because we were looking at that Please, literally oh. a minute ago. Uh, where was it? Here. Oh, travel gnome, sorry. The stowaway inside luggage of unsuspecting travellers. Tick. Um, affect household in many ways. They can often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil. It's a, it's a, it's a travel. I'm not going to read the rest. It, it's a, it's a travel gnome. To get rid of it, spray pesticides and weed killer in the home can deter its gardening prospects. So basically, it it travels in your suitcase, it invades your home, and it makes its own garden inside your home. It's quite funny. As as it goes, compared to some of the other ones we've dealt with, this is fairly harmless. It, it's fairly harmless, isn't it? They just make a garden in, in your home. Annoying, yes. Bed teeth is cool. Bed teeth is terrifying. I want bed teeth to never exist. Bog art was really scary. Uh, I've not looked at these ones really. Ooh. Carpenter ants. I think we've selected that twice now, or three times, or whatever. Okay, here we go. Something in my basement. I don't know what it is. 
All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. Ooh. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Okay. So, we've had a few... That, uh, there's, there's been a few that mentioned basement and cellar. So let's have a look at those. Here we go. Cellar Grotto. Let's have a look at this one. Okay. Cellar Grottos are large cave-like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars and basements. Homeowners with cellar grottos will often report bad smell coming from the basement, high humidity in the home, and a notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. He's not mentioned pests, actually, has he? Smells like a sewer. Horrible noises. Lots of water. Okay. Uh, cellar grottos can introduce a number of dangerous pests into the home, and the heightened humidity they can introduce can cause warped floorboards, weakened foundation, and other hazards. Cellar... Oh, so it's it's all the water. It's all the humidity. Cellar grottos can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with the gift of gold. Their creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. So there's a lake in his basement. A lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion or consider utilizing their removal team. I think this fits. Like a, a whole ass lake. So he needs to take caving equipment and diving equipment, go down into his basement, find whatever manner of creature has created it, and give it gold. That's the only way to remove it. Nicely done, chat. Well done. Yeah, some more wine. Oh, let's have a little top up, shall we, chat? A hundred percent. The last two days we've got a hundred percent. The ones before, mm, not so much. Eighty and seventy-five, I think we got. Okay. What the fuck? The hole is a beachhead. I repeat, the hole is a beachhead or is a breach. It's not safe here. I must find a a new spot. It knows I'm here. Regarding your schedule this week, due to the shortages of available stuff, we need you to come in on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, of course. Today was meant to be my last day. And jump in more. Having a cave system in your basement is terrifying. It's pretty terrifying. That's whiskers. Oh my god, it is Whiskers! <gasps> what if our informant is a mouse? Remember, we literally watched a documentary on mice being super smart? <laughs> and he's not, like, unable to type properly because he's scared. He's unable to type properly because he's literally a mouse. Okay, your daily coupon is for a tamed river wood. Do I get to actually use these? Mouse with a smartphone. Hmm, that makes sense, right? Congratulations, employee. Uh, you got the daily coupon for the tamed river root. Plucked and tamed straight from the waters within the undersoil. River root is as reliable as they come. Uh-huh. Can, can we actually get these items? Like, does it affect anything? I would I would like one of these silver medallions. Okay, we've got no new movies to watch. Okay, let's go. Clever mouse boy. Absolutely. So I assume we're going to get a bunch of new stuff again. Here we go. Chat, we got this. 
that um what was it called the one that ate the little boy that one was actually terrifying big yikes okay this is nerve-wracking please call me false sight false artifact that was it <laughs> yeah just like a closet that just makes a buzzing sound that only children can hear and then it eats the child hello supervisor carol here hey supervisor and carol accuracy continues to impress those of us above and thine the accuracy oil. this is I weird i have updated your permissions once more thank you keep up the great work employee thank you darling our eyes rest soundly upon me the thine is weird right why is she using this language okay oh we got new ones animation Animations are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes. Uh, well, then we've got a trash gnome. It's a gnome in trash. That's going to be quite easy. Uh, sprig tree. Rapid growing tree like or organism that takes root in a human body. Jesus. Okay. In my I shit. I in my no good teenager haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know I find a dang tree growing in my shed. A tree you the say. It's all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic Ooh. satanistic ritual crap I assume. Well maybe it's not this. what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. Property. Please hold Okay, it might be this. We are clicking on the one that says tree. It might not be, so let's read carefully. By the way, I have two pieces of good news. I've forgotten to tell you. We'll read about the tree first. Sprig trees are rapidly growing tree-like organisms that take root in, the hu in a human body. Wait, she did say a plastic bag, right? Maybe there's a body bag. Trees covered in torn up fabric. Oh my God, it's a person. Oh, Jesus. Uh, known to cause structural damage to homes that continue to grow, generally during their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Yeah, it's a, it's clothes. It's not just random fabric. It's clothes. Spriggan trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and will result in death once they've reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree while it is growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death from the structural damage that occurs as it grows. There is no cure for a sprig tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while the others occupying the household should vacate the premises immediately. Do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstance. Begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral service as needed for the affected individual. It does say black substance too. Right, okay, we're good. We'll get the next phone call and then I'll tell you the good news. I've got two pieces of good news. Two news. Two news. Sprig vines. Is this similar? Okay, so it's a spriggan that's pissed off and it's making vines. Cool. A soap sprite. Consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. Appears as a pink bar of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them. Oh my god. A rain nymph? Yeah, I'll wait for the phone call. I'll wait for the phone call. Afterwards, holy, afterwards. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, uh -huh. but the place looks spotless. Spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep. We've dealt with one of these before. Please hold. You put, we've literally dealt with one of these like at the beginning of the game. Um, wait, why would you need to pause the game? Is there like a timer? I didn't even realize. Yeah, it's a common hob. Um. You can browse while the game's paused. Oh, hang on. Guys, we got a giveaway. Win a Ghost Kai Megamind mug in chat. Exclamation mark. Enter to win. Shredded Leaf, thank you very much for buying a mug. That's very kind of you. 
Chat, exclamation mark, enter. You've got one minute. Go, 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 go. Get yourself a mug. Get yourself a mug. <sighs> go, 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 go. Um, so, yeah, I've got two pieces of good news. One, the developers of American Truck Simulator reached out to me today. I can vouch for the mug. They're fantastic. I've got that mug, too. It's a good mug. It's a good mug. I've got the big Mega Mind head one. Thank you, Shredder Leafs. It's very kind of you. Um, the yeah, the developers of American Truck Simulator reached out today, and they basically said, "Hey, Ghost Guy, um, we saw your stream when you streamed American Truck Simulator in December, and would you like to work together? We can provide lots of things for your community and you." Uh, One Fat Cat, congratulations. Congratulations. Enjoy your mug. One Fat Cat, head on over to ghostkai.com forward slash redeem and you will get your mug. Just put in your details there. Log in with Twitch so it knows it's you. And that's it. Congratulations. Well done. Uh, So yeah, the American Truck devs reached out and yeah, they were like, hey, you know, are you interested in working with us in the future? I said, yeah. Yeah. Like people really enjoyed that stream. Yes, enjoy one fat cat. Enjoy. Um, so expect giveaways to do with that game in the near future. Because they were like, What DLC do you need? I was like, I don't know. What DLC do you want? And they're like, We'll give you anything you want. So I took a screenshot of my Steam DLC page and I was like, here you go. Whatever you want, whatever you feel is appropriate to give me. And so we yeah, all of them. Yeah, exactly. Um so yeah that's really cool so expect more american truck sim streams in the future or or euro truck sim as well because the same same guys um and the other thing which i haven't mentioned is quite a while ago i put in for the hunt showdown creator program on lurk it today and I, I've forgotten about it, if I'm honest. I forgot about it. Today, they sent me a notification that they've accepted me to it. So expect some Hunt Showdown streams and giveaways and stuff to do with that. Hey, Pickle Rick. How you doing, buddy? Rick, I've had like a bottle of wine and a bunch of shots, dude. How are you? I'm excited about it. I thought you would be Firefly. What showdown? Hunt Showdown. Hunt showdown in Miradel, don't do you dare. So yeah, everything's coming up, Ghost Kai chat. We're celebrating. We're celebrating. Now, I must make the distinction, that is not a Hunt Showdown partner. That is a different thing entirely. This is just their creator program where they will literally do things like, hey, why don't you play Hunt this week? And we will give you a copy of the game to give away and some DLC for you and your community. It's stuff like that. So like, it's not money or anything like that. It's literally just like, they'll they'll approach me from time to time and say, hello, creator program ghost guy. Would you like yes, to do this hi. for this? I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services. Oh yeah. And not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. Okay. As I mentioned prior, Someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be singing. an insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. Singing? We've not had something that sings yet. Please hold. So maybe a new one. What's it? Closet Labyrinth? I don't think it's going to be that. That already sounds terrifying. I don't think it's that. Uh, what's a dream weaver? Large spider-like creatures? No, that's not going to be singing, is it? What's another new one? False flower? False flowers are long, slender creatures that vaguely resemble common household plants. They are known to take root inside... Uh, here we go. They are known to take root inside indoor potted plants discarded themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report hearing singing. False flowers are harmless if left to their own devices. However, if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, 
They will often lash out by spraying a toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. False flowers are not to be disturbed once they've taken root. Water regularly and try not to notice their presence. Ignore their singing. Wait, that's it. There is no solution. You just have to try and ignore them. That's what it sounds like. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm, I'm happy it's that. The singing, the singing's the clincher. I've literally not seen singing. And it's in a greenhouse, so it makes sense. Wish I had wine and shots? Oh, it's good, man. I suspect fire will work. Maybe, yeah. But I suppose the idea is that they're, they're really dangerous and they will blind you if you piss them off. I suppose we don't know how quick they can move because they're not actually flowers. They're, they're long, slender creatures. So if you go to attack it, it might know your intentions and run at you. Hey, Flipper here. I got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. Hey, your boy. How's it going, dude? I mean, I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. Know what I mean? I'm looking at these bells right now here. Uh -huh. I'm seeing uh, spit, crud, and juice. And, uh... Hey, who who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. What the fuck was that? That was some creature calling us from within someone else's home. Because the actual homeowner came home and was like, what the hell are you? And then died. Intelligent mice. Mmm. I like it. I like the way you think. Okay, come on. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. Yeah. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon thee. Keep up the good work, employee. A blight upon thee. This is such a weird way of talking. This is the first time I've heard you drop an F-bomb. Oh, I swear all the time. I just don't swear a lot. Like, I swear when it's appropriate to swear. I don't swear as a, an exchange of apostrophes and full stops and commas. There's, there's some kind of insect in my house. Okay. I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but... I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Please hold. There was one I read about earlier that which was burning, which was the lamp thing. Where is it? Lamp sprite. <gasps> no, the network's gone down again. Well, we, we might as well... We we'll just trust our gut because we literally can't look at any of them. We literally can't look at any of them, so we're just going to submit. When I said about burning, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was lamp sprite. There's a cobalt here. Unfortunately, the network's down, so while the network's down, we literally can't look at any of them. It is what it is. It's always appropriate to swear. It depends. It depends. I feel like. If it's just part of your vocabulary, sure, whatever. But if you're swearing for swearing's sake, it's kind of cringe. It, it Some people do that. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. 
Oh dear. It wrapped its tendrils around her and took her down with it. That's our only clue. Please hold. Have we got our... Okay, we got our network back. That won't be that, would it? Lauritz? Oh, Jesus. Floor roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Floor roots grow sh slow enough that they serve very little danger to awake and aware human adults. However, if not spotted quickly, they are, known, are a known strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a priority in family households. Solution. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they cease their growth. So it is advised to acquire dolls or similar human-shaped humans, human, human, human facility uh, to give them a safer alternative. Place the dolls in the affected room and leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the dolls and roots should be gone and the room safe to inhabit once more. Make any repairs to the floor as needed. So they just grow. They just grow and they grow up through a house until they grab something humanoid and only once they've grabbed something humanoid they stop growing so unfortunately i think your daughter is is gone i think your daughter is gone oh dear there's a lot of concerned parents on these calls which they're never getting their kid back the pet owners too, actually. Have to laugh a bit. Imagine you calling in about this and the only thing you hear is, please hold, elevator music. Yeah, while he's like crying for his daughter bag. It, 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 it stole me. It stole me. I'm, I'm not me anymore. I'm, it, 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 it took me. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me! Help get me back, please! Oh, I can't see myself. There, there was a mirror one. There was a mirror one. You're right. Mirror nymph. Here we go. Mirror nymphs are a subspecies of nymph that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passers-by. They're generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids, carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners affected by a mirror nymph commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. This is horrifying. Danger. Mirror nymphs, although a nuisance, are not a direct danger to humans. Solutions. Mirror nymphs will wander to different locations provided nobody looks into their mirror. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. That's got to be it. As soon as she said, like, I can't see myself, that's, that's kind of the giveaway, right? It's pretty terrifying, this game. I'm digging it though. I'm digging the vibe of this game. It's it's horror done quite well because it's it's telling a story. You know what I mean? What's the horde? I've not read this one. Oh, for God's sake. I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house. Oh yeah. I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Of course, darling. Please hold. What about, um, there was like a garbage or trash one, right? Right. 
No, it's not this. Look, report the smell of rotten eggs. Large clumps of fur. Nah, it's not it. Uh, I'm trying to think what other ones we've seen. Actually sounds like the horde. I didn't read it, to be honest. I didn't get to read it. Here it is. Let's have a read. The Horde is an invisible, odorless, collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. I mean, it sounds like it already. The Horde's tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home make them prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants. Rotten food, used syringes, and rusty metal are among the more common household hazards that can be... Okay, it's the Horde, isn't it? He's introduced by the Horde's presence. Once introduced to a home, the Horde will continue to gather and hoard their treasures indefinitely. It is advised to sell one's home at the first sign of a Horde's presence to make the relocation process go over more smoothly. To prevent the Horde from gathering in one's home, it is advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible to not attract the Horde's attention. The introduction of a hob to the household can often assist in the process. I like this. I like this. Sell to another hapless victim. It's you'd be surprised at how many of the solutions tonight have been exactly that, Glenn. Quite a number of the solutions have basically been just move home. Although the Bogart one was terrifying because it's like just move home and never mention the Bogart ever to anyone or in privacy. Because as long as you move on and never mention it again, it stays in the house. If you mention it, it comes after you. We haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Okay. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Flashing lights. Flashing lights. Through the windows. But can't see who's doing it. Please hold. Okay. It's not going to be wood secretions, wine sprite, or whistling fungi, is it? It's a portal one. It's quite literally just a portal. Okay. What's a night wisp? I mean, those are lights. Those are lights through a window. Night whispers are subspecies of wisps in the form of bright floating lights. They're known to hover outside windows at night, whispering promises of wealth and good fortune. I don't think you mentioned anything about whispers. They're not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from listening to their whispers and follow their directions. Night whispers will move on to other homes within a week. If they're ignored, it is advised to drown out the whispers with music or wearing sleep masks to prevent sleep disruption. So the only thing we've really got is lights through the window. Night wisp isn't it? What do you what do you think it is? We can't hear the whispers. He's not mentioned whispers. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Thanks to some punks outside. And he's talking about teens. So that gives me the impression he's hearing something outside. Because otherwise, why would he say, like, it's a group of people? Like, he seems adamant about what it is. I'm trying to think about the other things we've read so far. A Dreamweaver? No, it's not going to be a Dreamweaver. Giant Spider? No. We might get this one wrong. But I can't think of anything else it can be at the moment. We've, we've done quite a few of these so far. Oh, what's a night gnome? Let's have a read of this. Oh, no, no, it's not a night gnome. That's the one that stalks you through the window. No lights. I mean, rain nymph, I assume, is rain? Yeah, during rainstorms. Okay, it's not that. I think it's a night wisp. I do. It's the only one that's lights through a window.
We'll see if it's right. Info successfully submitted. Well, we'll see what we get at the end, if anything. We're allowed to get one or two wrong. I don't know how many you can get wrong, actually. Imagine if you just get them all wrong. They, they just all die. Animation sounds terrible. Uh, like, I hope we don't ever get animation. Okay, come on. Hey, uh, so... I think I found some kind of door. I feel like maybe I should step through it. Portal. Yeah, I think... I think I need to go inside. Portal. The wind feels so nice. Portal. Please we literally just had a look at this one. It's got to be. Portals are door-shaped openings to outdoor locations. She said about the wind feels nice. Uh, other than the homeowners, discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, or a strong desire to enter. Portals can introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements to a home and should be dealt with as soon as they are discovered. They can additionally cause drafts and introduce heating problems to a home. Solution. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or other common building materials. The seal should be airtight as to not allow anything to come inside the home. It is advised to utilize their security services to seal it properly. So what happens if you go in? Do you go in and like just never come out? You just go in, never come out. It eats you. That's gotta be that's gotta be what it is, right? You end up in Narnia? Oh maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. This might like sound strange. Like? I think there's some kind of like squid or something in my bathroom. Squid. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, mm -hmm. and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tentacles or like tendrils or you know whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like, under, you know, like that little soap thing and everything. But I know it's Under somewhere. that little soap like, thing. too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still got to be high. It's a soap sprite. Yeah. The little soap thing is the creature. We were reading about one earlier. The soap is the creature. Please hold where is it? We were reading about them. Soap sprites are a subspecies of sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and har harmful microbes. They frequently occupy bathrooms appearing similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that use them. They secrete a suds-like substance that is used to digest their meals. Soap sprites, despite their bacteria-eating lifestyle, are frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as fey flu to humans who handle them, making them a serious household hazard. Soap sprites are easy to remove and dispose of by way of tongs and other uh, grabbing utensils. Identifying soap sprites can be difficult, so it's recommended not to keep any bars of soap in the household to ensure that they can be identified and removed as soon as possible. It's got to be. The, the bar of soap he's talking about, do they have tendrils? It doesn't say tendrils, but it says that they look like a bar of soap. When he's like, oh, it disappeared under that bar of soap and then I couldn't see it anymore. It didn't disappear. It is the bar of soap. That's what it is. 100%. I'm sticking to my guns. Alright. Any more? Oh! 100%, baby. We're super spy in this game. Feels like someone took a break from SCP article writing and put it to use. It does, doesn't it, reading aloud? By the way, I'm loving this game. I think this game's fantastic. Oh, we got a new vi new uh, video. Here we go. Well, well, well.
Oh, this is nice. Should we go for a hike, chat? Watch out for bears. We like having you here, Sacred. How you doing, buddy? It's good to see you, man. The Plies. As with any hiking trail, you want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. That's true, chat. A sword? Wait. Hikers in chat, have you ever taken an iron sword? Seems a little sus. I don't I don't think I I don't think I take an iron sword on a on a park trail. Absolutely. Oh, well, I stand corrected, Magma. I stand corrected. Straightforward, but steep trail, consisting mostly of switchbacks, leading the electric coat, finally a short climb to its pristine peak. Okay. You step through the portal. This is hiking in Narnia now, maybe. Okay, pace yourself, conserve your energy. Okay. The quiet zone remain completely silent. The hell? Danger quiet zone. What the hell? Remove your height. Wait, what? Um. Enter the cave. Uh, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Guys, what? why is this so scary and freaky suddenly? Follow the lights. Do not stray. Why do they need to take their shoes off? Why do they need to be silent? What lives in this cave? If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. Nah, we're not going hiking, chat. I've decided we're not doing a hiking stream. I'd rather have a burger than hike. Yeah, me too. God, I can murder, murder a burger right now. I'm being a good boy, chat. I'm losing weight. This address is no longer active. Hello, if you're receiving this mail, it's because you've been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at HSH. As of the end, uh, 30th of April, 96, this address has been shut down. We'll no longer be able to send or receive messages. If you still need support from HSH, please email us. I'm desperate for Lauren, why are you saying that? Oh my god, fried chicken right now? Fried chicken right now? Are you kidding me? Oh my lord. Congratulations, your high accuracy has got you the daily coupon for a hag hide. I can't afford... 
I can't afford to imagine a wicked. To, oh my god, are you kidding me? KFC chicken pot pies are so good. I've never had one. We don't serve that in the UK. Is it? I, I take it it's really good, Carapun. Welcome in, by the way. KFC sounds awesome right now. Oh my god, I would actually destroy KFC right now. Chat, like, I, no lie, I would absolutely obliterate KFC right now. Or fried chicken, I mean. Has this person always been stood on the desktop? Um... Has this woman that's looking at us always been on the desktop? Hello? Fair enough, Lynn Sassy. <laughs> okay, Saturday. This is our this is our extra day. We're doing a bit of overtime. <laughs> okay. That's Dave. Oh, all right. Fair enough. We've just Dave then. They taste homemade. Ooh, I've never had a chicken pot pie. Real light Jollibee is better crunch than KFC. Mmm. Okay. Who's ready? Day six. Let's go. This game's great, by the way. This game's on Steam if you want to buy it yourself. Thanks for the follow, sausage. Oh, thanks for the follow, dude. Cheers. Happy Friday. I hope you treat yourself to a pot pie today. You deserve it. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Does some place have the options for extra crunchy? Hark, they do. Hark. Lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Why is she talking like Continue that? Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Wait, what? Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. Is she real? I don't know what's going on, Potato Puff. But over the week, she started to speak like ye old English. Lend thine ear once more. I have updated thy permissions to grant thee access. What is she? I don't know. I wonder if one of the last monsters we find is her carol like a hymn or a song i wonder if that's foreshadowing oh i like it well let's wait our first phone call prepare thine body chat we need to start reading some of these between animal has gotten into my cellar okay i know it's down there because i can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet okay tell me what to do to get rid of this thing because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. It's a wine spray. a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Cheers, wine. Let's go. It's a wine spray. It's a ghost guy. It's a ghost guy creature. Please hold. <laughs> a warlock remnant. What the fuck? Residual presence left behind by former warlocks. Often holding households, castles, or underground dwellings. Objects moving on their own, sound of hostile warning whispers or sighting bearded figures in reflective surfaces. That is awful. Trolls. We're on like, these are like the big boys now. Giant 12 foot tall nocturnal creatures. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, a Spriggan. Oh. They're like moving tree people, aren't they, Spriggans? What about reanimation? That should be fairly obvious. That's zombies. Reanimation is zombies. A puka? What's a puka? Is that a... Is that a walking dog? Shapeless creatures replace pets. Neighbor's doorway. It's a door frame that appears in basements. Okay. A leprechaun. 
I mean, we know what leprechauns are. Long brown hair, known for consuming common household valuables, jewelry, silverware, other precious metals. Nice. So we know what this one is. That's why we're having a quick read of the rest. I don't know if we have a timer. Dorcher. The one who delivers. Feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. Experience visions of a great lurking shadow. A bed hag. No. Large humanoid creatures with elderly woman-like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. Homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night and the feeling of a heavy weight on their chest at night. Jesus Christ. Autumn vines. That's okay. So they're, they're vines, but they're like red and orange. Cool. Okay. Uh, so we know this is a wine sprite. So let's just, let's just crack on with this. Oh, God. Oof. So, uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. Okay. It stinks to high heavens, and something is leaking out of it. A wooden I desk? I the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Ooh. Please hold. There was wood secretions down here. Wood secretions are a pink visc viscous liquid substance that can sometimes form in the wood that has been mistreated. It's known to drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls causing a sticky pooling buildup. Okay. It can be deadly to humans, calling a rapid translation of flesh if ingested. Keep animals and human children away from the secretion at all costs, as its foul odour will be interpreted as a sweet candy-like smell to them. So wait, it, it smells awful to adults, but to children it smells sweet and like candy. Ugh, God, these things are so insidious. Making them particularly susceptible to accidental ingestion. Once started, wood secretions will continue indefinitely to remove the hazard from the home the offending wood should be replaced entirely to prevent wood from entering the secretion stage. Ensure good care is taken towards wood in the home and refrain from scratching, knocking and banging on wooden surfaces. Do not ever insult or, in shout, or shout at the wood. I get the impression, uh, Kara Pun, that they turn you into wood. I think they turn you into wood. I think that's what that means. Note to self, don't shout at wood. Yes. I love some of the solutions here because they're very, um, scary. <laughs> they're very scary. The, the worst one so far is still the, uh, what was it called? False artifact. Jesus Christ, that was terrifying. I think there's someone watching me. Okay. Outside. Something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look. It might at be that night gnome thing. I know they're out there. Oh, I've with seen trees. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently, or if I ate fruit in public, or something, and told me to call you, hoping you'll be more helpful. I don't think it is a night gnome. Please because they don't move around. They just stare at you and breathe at you while you're asleep. He said in the trees. Could it be a spriggan? He said eyes as well. What did he say about the eyes? So he doesn't see them. He just sees eyes. Spriggans are small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. They are re rarely seen in households and reside primarily in the trees. They are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked, however. Homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in and around their homes and the feeling that the trees are watching them. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked and physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree within the afflicted individual. Yeah, we, we've, we know about that. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent provoking a spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. 
Do not ever kill or harm wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetables that may be growing on your property. Consider making offers of water each night left in a clean dish on your porch. That makes sense, right? I think we got it. The fruit thing and the fact that he's being watched from the trees constantly. I think I think we I think we're onto a winner, guys. Okay. My brother told me to call this number, uh -huh. but I don't know why. Why? Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. Ooh. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Sounds like vines. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Okay, that's freaky. Should we read on autumn vines? And then there was another vine one as well. So it's one of them. Water vines are orange with red leaves and known to grow slowly all over a house, frequently occurring during the fall. Homeowners with autumn vines often report a dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. I think this is it. Blissful. The pheromones autumn leaves, oh sorry, autumn vines release into the air, while not toxic, can often cause household accidents thanks to their blissful, dizzying effects. To remove autumn vines from the household, locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home. Uh, for an extended red parent vine. Pull this vine out by the roots and burn it. Prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meat substance to the ones beneath the soil. I think this is it. The blissful thing is a clincher because she just kept saying how good things were. Now things are so good. Tell my brother things are good. <laughs> Okay, what's next? We never got a chance to read Faith Flu, actually. Hi. Do you know how I got here? Go where? I'm... I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. What the fuck? Please hold. I don't think that's the portal. Portals go to like outside, like a nice countryside or Narnia or something. Okay, I'm just reading that. Read this as well. Okay. Mirror thing? Uh, maybe a mirror nymph? No, because she's... She says they're not my family. It could be a memory. Could be a memory one, or... What was the other door when there was... So they got portal, because she said, like, I don't know how I got here. But there was another doorway one, wasn't there? What was it called? Neighbor's doorway. Here we go. Neighbors' doorways are a door frame like structure that can appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through, as well as parallelism. What's parallelism? Is that like going into a parallel universe? Killer Potato, hello. How are you doing? Neighbors' doorways do not cause any direct harm to the humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism par parallelism will often result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the in the human who comes through the other side. So she walked through the door frame and forgot who her family were. I think this is it. Neighbors' doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel effect. Oh, sorry, parallel activity. Is advised to use their doorway removal service. One can prevent the neighbors' doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for alternative life paths. Oh, interesting. So if you're someone who like has a lot of like life regrets, like, oh, oh, wish I didn't marry this person. Oh, I wish I didn't have this career, you know, and you like ruminate a lot on 
how you could have done other things with your life, you're more prone to this thing invading your home. Because it's like, all right, bet. That's pretty cool. Nice. She had a doorway drawn on the wall in crayon. Oh, nice. It's just trying to help. Yeah, kind of. It's weird. It sounds like it's almost benevolent. But it's not, in a way. It's kind of benevolent, because it only comes after you if you actually want to change your life. That's interesting. I like that. Chaotic neutral... A chaotic neutral baddie. They it's feast? quite big too, which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. A big old pile of shit. Well, what she sees anyway. Let's have a look at Faye Feast because I was just reading that. It's a pile on a dining table. Uh, various, uh, not dangerous, okay, left hand product. It doesn't seem like it's a fey feast. The only thing that's making me think it's a fey feast is the picture. Big pile of shit on her dining table. You know what I mean? Rotten eggs, that was one of the things of the trash gnome. You're right. It was, wasn't it? But it sounds like this is like a load of shit in what, like one location. Whereas, smell of rotten, rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped garbage cans, loud crunching sounds at night. The only thing we've got is the bad smell. I don't think it is the Trash Gnome. It's between the Trash Gnome and the Fey Feast. The, what there's a part, the, you gotta remember, when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. Now she's not explicitly saying it is fecal matter on her dining table. She's just saying it's a pile of crap. She doesn't, she might not literally mean it is poo. You know what I mean? We might be taking that too literally. Because what would you describe this as? Just a pile of crap on a table. See what I mean? I'm just going off the picture here. Pile of crap on her dining table. If I saw a huge clump of fur on my table, I'd call it a pile of crap to be honest. True, but it said fur throughout the house. I'm going to stick with my gut instinct. I'm going to go with Fey Feast. Just confused about Rotten Eggs. You're right. No, the Rotten Eggs thing absolutely throws it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, We'll see. We'll see. Alright, what's next? I'm waiting for this to pop up. I'm waiting for the doll to pop up, because that's horrific. Hey, yeah, Paul here. Hey, Paul. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Yeah, uh, tell me about it. I can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place. Swabbed okay. and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as freaking possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of edgy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Wait, are you using pesticides? Washing and scrubbing the bed sheets as much as possible. Itchy kids. Uh, ban the bot, please, guys.
Thank you. Last one, Rick. Is this just bed bugs? This doesn't sound really insane. This just sounds like bed bugs. Please hold. Which, by the way, a gentle reminder that you probably have bed bugs. You just don't notice it. <laughs> Off to report itchiness. Yeah. Relatively harmless. I think it's just bed bugs. Why is the picture a stink bug? Shh, 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 Tisket, just, uh, just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, Tisket, it only appears as a stink bug for you because you're not subscribed, baby. <laughs> That's why. Non-subs see it as a stink bug, you see. That's the rules. Uh, the developers told me directly. I'm not lying. I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't lie. <laughs> There's Dan thinks keep trying to get in my house this time of year. Ooh. Do that. Rude? Oh, you know I'm joking, Tisket. Okay. Freezing. So tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. Teeth hurt, freezing. Where have I read that? I've read that somewhere. I'm trying to think where. Freezing, teeth hurting. I also feel like the game is going to have at least one of each thing. You know what I'm saying? What's a tea sprite? Have we read this? No, they live in cups of tea. I, I don't think that's... Leprechaun eating the heat. Oh! Uh, consuming household valuable jewelry, silverware, precious metals. In addition to being a household nuisance, leprechaun's appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they are not properly protected. Additionally, leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm to humans in cases where the homeowners have metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns, or crowns or joint replacements. He's eaten the daughter's braces. Oh my god, that's horrendous. Oh my god. Imagine like the little kid's asleep and just at night he he eats the child's braces. I mean, who says it has to be at night? See you later, Jakey. Oh no, it's okay, Tisket. Honestly, I, I don't mind if you don't sub. It's, it's all good, I promise. I'm just teasing. Leprechauns will move on to other feeding grounds uh, once they run out of food, but more proactive means of require a physical capture. If the immediate removal is desired, it is re recommended to utilize professional help. It's a leprechaun. It's eaten the girl's braces and their heating system. That is horrendous. Oh my god. Just like chewing against your teeth. Oh, holy, thank you for the gifted sub there to Tisket. There you go. Tisket, you're one of the chosen ones now. Enjoy your sub, man. Yeah, honestly, guys, I'm never going to put pressure on any of you to sub. If I ever say anything about subs, it's memes and banter. I'm never actually putting pressure on you, I promise. Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing. And okay. And I keep hearing this strange whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. Whoopee cushion. I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Okay. Do you have any advice you can send me? Stealing clothes and whoopee cushion sounds. Please hold. Laundry gnome? Oh no, that's inside the washing machine. So it's, it's an outside thing. Raccoons. 
Actually, it's just raccoons. There you go. Uh, it does sound a bit trolly, you're right. Trolls are giant 12 foot tall nocturnal creatures that are normally not seen around the home. However, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies, deflate their bodies like a whoopee cushion in order to fit inside the house and steal warm materials such as blankets and articles of clothing. Homeowners infested with a troll will frequently report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping in the middle of the night. That's quite funny. That's quite funny. Can we hear it? Party troll. Party troll. Trolls are very dangerous to humans when they're startled thanks to their ability to inflate their bodies to the full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through ceilings of most homes when fully inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone in the vicinity. Do not ever approach a troll. An active troll will leave by morning once it has secured its bounty. It is recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV lights to prevent future break-ins. So basically, like, just let them do their thing, leave them be, and then set up deterrents afterwards, like lights, because they're nocturnal. But don't actually try and do anything with them. Or they'll kill you. <laughs> and probably destroy your home. So, yeah, don't, don't do anything. I like that we're learning how to defend ourselves, chat. We're learning to defend ourselves from the supernatural tonight. It's good. It's informative. Okay, cool, please. Let them fart and leave. Hello, I saw your commercial and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon It's the tea one. when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. It's the tea I'm one. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. I mean, it's it's. I I don't even need to read it. She's talking about Earl Grey tea. Talking about boiling a kettle. It's a tea sprite. Oh, uh, we can't even read it. I'm just gonna. There you go. Tea sprite. Easy. I love Earl Grey. Oh, Earl Grey's quite nice. I like an Earl Grey. I prefer an English breakfast, if I'm honest. If it hand on my heart, I like a I an English breakfast. Wonder how much the suction force is if a troll panic inflates. The, for science, right? For science. Why does the phone sound like that? Hello? Hi, we need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already. Right. But he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. Okay. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. Okay. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Okay. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Shortness of breath. That's basically all we've got. Now, the thing is, she said the kids have asthma and allergies, but she's not saying the kids are ill. So it's got nothing to do with allergies. It's just her and her husband having trouble sleeping and shortness of breath. Is it the underbed one? Or oh, the bed hag? Please hold. We did read that earlier. You might be right. I don't think it's anything to do with um, allergies. Oh god, it's still out? Because she specifically said that like, it's just her and her husband. It's the kids who have the allergies. So I don't think it's anything allergy related. We're going to go for bed hag. Uh, you're right. True sacred. I remember bed hag as well. Shortness of breath because the hag sits on your chest while you're sleeping. 
Drag Black Mold can also trigger asthma too. Yes, but the kids aren't having asthma attacks. The mother is worried about the children's asthma, but she's not saying it's been affected. It's only her and her husband. The kids have asthma and allergies, but the kids are fine. It's like it's like a red herring. They put all that in there about the kids, so you go, oh my god, allergies. But she's not actually said the kids are unwell at all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, I wish the network would come back up. Jesus, we're going to need it. Please. Please. Do you hear that? I'm coming from the wilds. Not exactly sure what it is, but I've been having a hard time sleeping at night because of this sound. Can you hear that? It's been non stop lately. I've replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything, but I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. Like a singing or a whistling sound? Could be the false flower again. Please hold. Or it could be this whistling fungi, maybe. Either the false flower or the whistling fungi, I want to say. Let's let's listen to it. Yep. Yeah. See you later, Lauren. Have a good night. Whistling fungi are small mushroom-like growths with many holes in their caps that frequently grow through dry wall gaps and cracks. Homeowners infested with it often report a dissonant whistling sound coming from their walls. Warning, if you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately. Whistling fungi are rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundational problems. If whistling fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate your home immediately and do not return for any reason. Otherwise, the whistling fungi can remove the... Rem can be removed with common weed killers or utilizing their fungal removal services to prevent whistling fungi infesti uh, infestation ensure there are no open cracks in your home it doesn't really say why I, I guess it said it, it damages the structure of the house but it didn't say much more There's there's loads of these we've not had by the way like a pipe hob. We've not had a puka either. We've not had raccoons, guys. We need a raccoon. That needs to be the final boss. Okay. Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. Uh -huh. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. That's a puka. It smells so terribly Remember, it re rotten. It replaces the pet. Please, can you help? It kills the pet and replaces it. He's been acting up lately. Terrible smell. Please hold. Oh, no. Pukas are shapeless creatures. Are the cases random? I actually don't know. Uh, shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. They are known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place and watch the homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Pukas are relatively harmless to humans, but they're the discarded bodies of household pets that they leave behind can over time create other pest and disease hazards within the home. A foul smell signifies decay. And so what she can smell is her rotting dog. And the dog that she thinks is her dog is not her dog. It's the puka. She can smell her dog rotting like under the floorboards or something. Jesus. Pukas can be discouraged to leave the home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pukas thrive on attention they receive from frightened homeowners. So refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them and make attempts to ignore their presence whenever possible. That's it. That's how you deal with them. Imagine finding out that your, your darling pet 
has been murdered and replaced by this entity but the entity thrives on your attention that's its life force that's its food if you will and the only way to get rid of it is to ignore this thing that is impersonating your pet that's so messed up man freaking terrifying Call me? You gonna call me? Hello? Yeah, that's definitely mice, right? We're right about the squeaking. It's gotta be mice. Let's go! 100%! Let's go, chat! We're a good team, chat. The thing is, now that we've read all of them, it's just like recalling what we've read. Oh, there's more. What's this entry browser? Wait, what the hell? What's this to like review them? Why, why would it give us this right now? The lady on the desktop is... <gasps> Why is there a big hole on the desktop where the lady was? Chat, I don't think we're safe. Okay, why would they give us the ability to review? Should we review ones we've not had come up yet? What do you reckon? For science, how big could a trial inflate to again? 12 foot. Right, so what have we not had come up? We've, uh, the Warlock Remnant has not come up. We've loosely read it. Um, What else haven't we had? Seedling. We've not had seedling. Seedlings are small insectoid creatures about the size of an aphid. They're known for burrowing in outdoor planters, feeding off roots, season new Uh Extremely territorial. Okay, so you drown them out. Okay, Rain Nymph we've not had. I'm just wondering why they're giving us access to this now. Are they going to take away our computer for the next one and like not let us look at them? Okay, flooding, faint humanoids with glowing in their eyes. Asking to be let inside, okay. Uh, Puka we've just had, that's fine. We, we looked at these at the beginning, the growths and stuff, that's fine. Um... We've done all of these. I'm just looking for ones we've not had come up. Laundry Gnome is straightforward. It lives in the washing machine. Kobold, we've not had come up. Five foot tall. Dog face is known to burrow in the dark rooms or storage closets. Okay, broken floorboards. Uh, they poke out their heads from behind corners and whimpering. Okay, that's cool. House spider, house fly, house fires. That's all very straightforward. Uh, these we've all had, or they're straightforward. False rose bush. I assume it's a fake rose bush that does things. Missing pets or children. Oh, Jesus, that's terrifying. They have two small humanoid feet that they use to chase down prey. Okay. Dreamweaver's a giant spider, isn't it? That is horrendous. So we're looking for like giant webs and stuff. Increased anxiety, large webs. Traps, dust, pets and children. What's a Dorcher? Oh, this is the one we... Yeah, yeah, we read this earlier. Great lurking shadow. Dorcher will deliver that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorcher is otherwise harmless to humans. It does not seek. To be sought by a daughter is to be found by a daughter. If you were a loved one or sought by a daughter, it is advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance. Oh my god. There is no solution to that one. It's just... If the daughter's after you, that's it. Make peace with it, because you're done. 
You're done. Uh, closet Labyrinth we've not had. Let's have a quick read. Large Snowmarks uh, inside. Uh. Okay, Closet Labyrinth. Missing clothes. Sounds of distant cries coming through. Uh. Lost in by design. Especially hazardous to homeowners carrying valuable items. Sounds just gold, precious silk, or rare spices. So if you have valuables, you can get you can get lost in them. Otherwise, you're fine. Okay. Um, and I think all the rest of these we've done. Yeah. Okay. We've done all the rest. <laughs> Congratulations. We're happy to report that we're most pleased with your labors. Your labors? Why do they call it labors? You're making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the great work. Thanks for working through the weekend. Prepare thy body, chat. Uh, oh, great. We've got the daily coupon of the Glamour Stone. I assume we don't get any of these. Um. Okay. Let's go. Sunday. I assume this is the last day. Hark. Hark unto me. That big hole on my computer desktop was uh, not fun. Oh, okay. It did a glitch. It did a glitch. We don't like that. No, no, no. Thy trial hath begun. What? Huh? Eo, you can't read them! We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen. What are we? Bees. Bees have a queen. Bees have a queen. And there's lots of them. Ants is not... Oh, we are, I suppose carpenter ants as well. Okay. Showcase thy knowledge, chat. Oh, Jesus Christ. We had a brief read of every single creature. Answer below, not above. Oh, Maywin! You're right, answer below. Absolutely correct. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? It's the dolls. I remember specifically... In the dolls, it says, despite their clattering, they are not alive. It's the animation, it's the dolls. Despite their clat, it's the first line. Despite their clattering, they're not alive. Or, or words to that effect. Oh God, I'm nervous. What if I'm wrong? How do I know if I'm wrong? Does it tell me? Forge ahead. Why is this soil? What is going on, chat? This, this game has gone crazy very quick, by the way. Okay, here we go. I am a beggar. I am an encroacher of the dry. I am a friend to the water of the sky. What am I? You are... Uh, is it a rain nymph? Because they're a beggar. They ask to come in. That's one of their key things. Oh my god, I've just seen the face of the person asking me. 
Uh, I've just seen the faces starting to look up from under the hood. Oh, dear Lord. Please hold. Please hold. Uh, Rain Nymph. Wait, I don't know why I scrolled down. It literally doesn't affect anything. Rain Nymph. What if it's wrong, chat? I don't know if we I don't even know if we find out if it's wrong. Press on, employee. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? You, my friend, are the common housefly. Please hold. You are a housefly, my friend. I know that was on here. The bringer of pestilence and death. And a nuisance. It's got to be a housefly. I feel like it's going to get much harder. The, this feels not too hard so far. Rejoice, chat. Rejoice. Or a rat. I don't think rats are on here. Rejoice is good, right? Although we seem to be in the soil now. I don't like that. Are we descending? I think we are. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? You are the closet labyrinth. As we just read. As we just read. Closet labyrinth. Praise upon the rich. And if you step within when you have valuables such as jewelry, gold or rare spices. The labyrinth eats you. Good call going through them quickly. Please hold. Super spy, man. Super spy. Can't teach it. Closet labyrinth. It must be. I'm certain of this. We just read the description. Okay. Expand thy mind. Are these roots? What is going on? We're below that tree at the beginning. Gotta remember not to carry around my rare spices all willy-nilly. I know. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed the tension, but thank you very much, Memento. <laughs> we are the companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. We are the companions of the gardens. We compel those to tread, to tread no longer. What are we? There's a few that could fit this. But there's one of those we've not had. So I'm thinking Spriggan, Sprig Tree, Sprig Vines, Fake Flower. But there is one that we've not had. Seedling. And Seedling kills you if you step on it i think we just read it but my memory's now getting a bit fuzzy i think it'll be the one we've not had please hold seedling oh god i'm gonna it's got to be. It's got to be. Go, go, go. Just commit, commit, commit. Trust yourself. Just trust yourself. Let go thy stilted soul. Oh, God. I am 
am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? You, my friend, are fire. Dancing flames, consuming weak and reckless, careless light. It's all... It's all other words for fire. Now, I think we have a fire one. I can't remember if it was just called fire or it was called something else. Is it called fire? It's not called fire. House fire. There we go. That'll do. Is there another fire? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if there's another fire, actually. Fire fits the description. But it's whether it's house fire or there's another type of fire. I think it's house fire, right? We're going to stick with it. Descend. Descend to what? What is going on? What have we become a part of? Should we not have watched the videos on our desktop? Does it cost money? Yeah, it's on Steam at the moment. It's I think it's reduced. It came out like yesterday. It's like $10 or something. Oh, he is really staring at me, this one. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? Well, we just read about you, my friend. You are the Dorcher. The seeker and the deliverer. If this thing is after you, all you can do is make peace and accept your fate. Please hold. But now what? <laughs> now what? More? More calls? How many tests are we going to have? Oh, Jesus. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. What well, what's the promotion, Carol? What's wrong with your eyes? Promotion in progress. Please stand by. Changed your outfit. King of the Nerds. Bow. Bow your shits. Was it? Excellent. 
Excellent. It starts like so mundanely me with like, oh, I've got this problem. And you're like, oh, it's rats or whatever. And then you're like telling them how to defend themselves against these like horrific demons that have like eaten their kids and stuff. I loved it. Oh, it won't ruin it. Don't be silly. Have a good night, Lemmy. Are we finally a woodland apparition? <laughs> yeah, we are. So are we in the cult now? I think we're the cult king. I think we're the cult king. This was great. I really enjoyed this game. It's out on Steam now if you want to check it out. Not sponsored or anything, but it's out. Go and check it out.